Okay, Sunday, uh, day after receiving 12 hours, and um, well, where do I start? It wasn't a great race for anybody at Corvette Racing yesterday. It all started so brightly. Uh, Jan and I were, were in for the start, and we were making good progress. We had a great battle with uh, uh, the two Porsches at the front and the Ferrari uh, of Jamie Mello, and uh, you know it was all looking really great. We managed to get past the Falcon car, managed to get past Jamie Mello and the Ferrari. We were, we were uh, catching up to Jorg, and in fact, Jan had just got past Jorg, um, and I was right up behind him, and then the first caution came. So, you know, things were, were competitive and we seemed to be right there on the pace with everybody. Then um, the three car had a bit of a problem and had to change its uh, power steering pump and that put it out of contention. Um, that was really much it for them. They were about eight laps down and it's such a highly competitive class now that any problem like that, um, and you know, you're going to be out of the chance of winning the race and pretty much scoring any points. So um, it was really down to one car, our car, the four car, and uh, then this horrible event happened, as Doug Feehan put it, it was a perfect storm of, of, of an incident. And uh, it, it all came about with the three car being in the pit lane. And the four car was, was supposed to do one more lap, but then it had the fuel alarm as, as Manu came into turn 17. So he did the right thing and pitted. Um, and uh, as the car came down the pit lane, there was miscommunication and um, uh, and the, the three car was let go as the four car was coming straight into his pit box and the two cars collided and it was I was standing right there on the pit wall and watched it all happen right in front of me and it was just one of those unbelievable moments uh, when you think this can't possibly be happening but it did and that pretty much put us out of contention um, and the guys did a brilliant job in rebuilding the front of the car in no time at all I think we only lost about 10 laps Got back out there and got running again, but um, like I say, we'd lost those that, that time and it's just no way we can make it back. Uh, so we just turned into an extended test session, just us trying out uh, some different tyres and bits and pieces and seeing what worked and also seeing where our competitors were. And um, you know, I think the race was eventually won by uh, uh, the Rissi team, so well done to them, uh, the Ferrari. Um, and I think the BMWs were, were, were second and third, uh, but... Um, you know, we didn't score any points, so it's a great shame. We're waiting to get our championship uh, points tally going, and hopefully that will that will uh, start at Long Beach, and that's in a, in a few weeks' time. But the reason why I'm here today is because we are staying on to do uh, another two days of testing and trying to put another 12 hours of running on the car so we can get a full 24 hours of Sebring running most aggressive track that we race on the whole year and it's to validate the parts and the bits and pieces ready for the Le Mans 24 hours in June so uh, that's all the plan but right now you might be able to see out the window here that it's absolutely chucking down with rain and this is not exactly the plan we've got uh, about four other teams here I think Peugeot are here, Audi are here and a couple of other P car teams and uh, they wanted the track to be actually as the race finished but all this rain will wash away all that rubber and uh, it'll make it uh, very changeable so we'll have to see how conditions are tomorrow um, hopefully it won't be wet